My tip is have sex before you go out and just surprise her in the shower and that's it. Oh yeah, don't let that flint die out because once that flint dies out, there's no sparking it back up for a while. So <laughs> that's my advice. Like we, and, and, and openly, like we were both very, very active, you know? And then and then when we had a kid and then, well, during, during preg halfway through during pregnancy and, and post baby, it was more of like a mental thing for both of us because I'm a very intimate lover. And so I want to be connected when we get connected. And, but when I'm connected with, with her, I feel like sometimes her mind was like, well, there's a baby inside. Is it? I'm like, where are you, babe? Like, so we tried a few times, but I think it's taking, just take the pressure off as my sex advice after a baby. Don't put pressure onto it because when you talk about it and you make jokes about it to each other, it adds the pressure without actually adding pressure to have sex. And then just spontaneously do it. Just be like, you know, just try to be spontaneous in the moment. Don't be like, tonight we're going to have sex and then go out and then come you home. can't plan home, it, yeah. Like, you're like, damn it, I gotta have sex now? Like the pressure's on. So just, but, my, my tip is have sex before you go out and just surprise her in the shower and that's it. I think it's just shown what a strong relationship we do have. I mean, we already were a solid couple, but this, I mean, he's a very 50-50 partner and he is such an amazing hands-on dad to Summer. So it's just made me fall in love with him even more, just seeing how amazing he truly is with her. And I mean, all of our friends and family see that. This isn't just Sheena being Sheena, bragging about her man, like It, it sounds is. like a brag now, so let's just, but let's just you, pick it up a little bit. You're an amazing dad, sorry. Thank you. <laughs> Not anytime soon. I got really sick after I had summer. I got diagnosed with HELP syndrome and that is something that I'm at high risk to have again. And with my age, you know, I'm not getting any younger. So I'm not sure that I necessarily want to put myself through that. Um, we've considered, you know, surrogate, maybe adoption, maybe we're one and done. I think it is way too soon to tell. She's only six months. Like ask us in a year and I'll probably have a different answer for you. Not on purpose. If she's been in the same outfit on Instagram, I will take that post down right now. <laughs> I love it so much. No, the girl has so many clothes. Like the fact that she even repeats outfits sometimes, I'm like, there's just, there's so many clothes. Like there's so many clothes very... that, there's so many clothes that didn't get used and yeah. in the closet because she doesn't fit them anymore. And now this is, this is a problem. I would like to let all female, all mothers know that, and grandmothers actually, the grandmothers who I'm talking to, you do not need to provide all these ribbons and all these bows for it. Maybe the ribbons and bows, because they- Yes, the ribbons it. and bows. You need one but, for every outfit. But for like like the amount of onesies, I'm just going to give you advice. You're going to have, she's going to she's going to grow out of it so quick. Just get like True. five of the same plain <laughs> white things. No. No. no, no, especially not with little girls. <laughs> no, that's what Look, a dad my, would my, say. Our next child, if we have a little boy, he's going to be wearing all of Summer's clothes. I don't care. <laughs> He'll be fine. Yes, yeah, so we'll be doing our launch in January. I'm looking forward to that. Um, we're, we're just trying to f figure out all the kinks, but I think visually uh, we're going to get there. What it will look like for our launch will be a 30 day challenge for the, all three months, not just January. Everyone kind of jumps on board to January. Mm -hmm. I'm going to set some goals and then they fall off on probably like the 15th to the 18th. <laughs> uh, so we're going to make sure it's supportive enough to get a lot of people just move in and trying to achieve the, the, the first 30 days. And then we're going to run three more competitions each month, bang, 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 cash incentive prizes, um, access to a lot of great trainers and kind of build us up as a foundation uh, to start us off and really get people moving and, and goal setting. Um, and that's it, have access to some great trainers, I'm excited. So it's like Cameo for how mm -hmm. for fitness. So if you have an influencer that you follow that and they host the live class, you just meet them on there. They'll schedule it, you'll jump on there and you can pay for a class or you can have a subscription-based model um, and drop in and join your, your influencer for a class. Mm -hmm.